Good morning, gang. Beautiful day in the Carolinas. It is November 1st, so happy November. It's going to get up to like 73 degrees today, and I've been putting off one of these projects for quite a long time, and it's time to get started on it. So, goat milking stand, here we come. Okay, gang, so I'm out in the shop right now, and I want to give a shout out to my friend Homestead Handyman. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. I've watched a lot of videos, I've read a lot of articles, and there's a lot of great videos out there on how to make a goat milking stand. But, since I know Homestead Handyman, I checked out his video, he's got a great little tutorial, and I'm going to more or less follow kind of his guidelines, but since I'm trying to use what I have here on the Homestead already that's readily available, I don't want to have to go out and buy supplies for this project. Uh, I'm going to have to modify some things a little bit because I don't have dimensional lumber that's going to exactly fit the dimensions that he's using. So, let me show you what I got. Okay, as you can see here, I got one of these pallets. Actually, I have several of these pallets. I get, get them for free. When I see them, I pick them up. And this pallet is roughly 32 inches by, if I use the long side here, by 32. So it's 32 by 32. In the milking stand that Homestead Handyman made, it was 22 by 44. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to modify this a little bit because I don't want to have to go out and buy more wood. I do have some dimensional scraps around here that I'll be able to use for legs and that sort of thing. But I want to try to limit what I'm using that I purchased at the store in the hopes that I can do this for next to nothing. Okay, so in his video, he used the back legs at 16 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out 16 inches. Use my square here to mark it off. I'm going to cut out two back legs and then the front legs, this is a two by three that I'm using here and it's not pressure treated. And I'll tell you, Homestead Handyman said that he doesn't like to use pressure treated on this because it has a tendency to bow and I'm with him. Now I have a two by four in the back that is pressure treated. I just don't have anything long enough for the front legs, which are 56 inches. I'm going to use the 2x4 pressure treated stuff for the front. Measure twice, cut once. Ah, uh, I just figured out I'm not going to be able to get 256 out of here. Okay. I'll have to use another 2x4, dang it. Like a glove. So now we want to measure 16 inches on these big 56 inch legs. So we're going to just use the 16 inches that we cut here, put a mark, same thing for the other one, put a mark, we'll run our square on there, make sure we got a clean straight edge. Good. Good. That's going to serve to where we screw in our legs, the apron or the base. This is the base here. All right, so I'm going to use one exterior screw for each one of these legs, and then I'll come back later with a nail gun and nail them in. I want to bring this line, the 16-inch line right here. You can't see it, but it's but I drew it on there. I want to bring that level with the base so that way that's all 16 inches. Okay. Flip this around and do the same thing on the other side. Be a miracle if this thing actually sat flush and level on the ground. Let's see. Well, look at that. It kind of does. And listen, I only put the one screw in each leg so I can come back after I put it on the ground, after I get it kind of level. I'm going to come back through with the nail gun now and make sure it's all strong, it's all flat, it's all level. Okay, I also went through and I cut some 45s like this out of just some scrap 1x or 2 by wood here. Um, I'm going to use that to brace the legs. I've never dealt with goats before, so I'm listening to others that have. And goats are pretty tough on their stuff. They're pretty strong. 
So you want to make it as strong as you can. And these 45s are going to help brace that up. Okay, so I went through and I tried to measure all the lumber to see if the measurements at the bottom are going to match the measurements on the top. I got as close as I could. I'm within, you know, a quarter inch on everything, which is good enough, guys. Close enough for government work. This is a goat milking stand. Lord knows I'm not talented or skilled enough to do anything super important that really requires everything to be square level and plumb. I'm a hack at best. And I like making these videos because A, it documents kind of what I'm doing and I can go back through and kind of look back to where I was and where I am now and see if I'm getting better or not, in many cases not. But I also like to show you guys that if I can do it, you can do it. Don't be afraid to try this stuff. I got my super cool safety glasses on and I'm gonna nail. Just put three in each. Go ahead and try to, you know, I'm gonna get this brace to work on, on here. I'm gonna do it like so. If it'll support my fat ass, it'll support a goat. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of goats I'm going to get yet. And whether or not this is going to be big enough, I might have to add on a little bit in the deck. Because remember, this pallet is not the same dimensions that I'm trying to follow loosely from Homestead Handyman. He went 44 inches, I'm 32 inches. So I may have to put some more off the back, depending on what kind of goats I end up getting. But here's the basic base for this goat milking stand. Now i got to make... What he calls the yoke, we'll call it the yoke, so I can trap the goat's head in there and we're going to make a little tray, a little food tray, so when we put the goat in there to milk, we can put their head in there so they can't pull it out and they have something to eat and keep them busy while I'm busy getting their milk. Here's just a basic look of what we have so far. Now I'm going to have to come back through here and I'm going to rip apart another pallet that's similar to this one. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in on the decking there with the wood that I get from the other pallet. I don't have to buy anything else. You can see here I put a what what was left of my two by four. I cut it to 26 inches because I'm going to come back through with a circular saw and just cut off the excess on both sides. It's going to be 26 inches across, and I'm going to use these pallet pieces that I got to build the structure that I need for the yoke. All right, so I'm kind of doing this by the seat of my pants here, flying by the seat of my pants. I only have one more piece of this dimensional lumber. It's a two by three, I think. So I'm using pallet wood for the other side. Now this is gonna be the yoke. The yoke. Say that five times fast. And what I did, he had this cool little tool that he made out of a strip of uh, oak and a string. I don't have it, I'm not gonna make it right now, although I do see the wisdom in having that, so I might at some point. But I just kind of free-handed and kind of did just a bow on either side. I'm gonna cut that out with a jigsaw and then we're gonna go ahead and install it all. The only thing left to do after that is get these deck boards in between the openings on this piece of pallet and um, I'll use more pallet wood for that. This wood is actually two pieces of pallet wood. It's roughly the same thickness as this other two by three that I have. So I'm gonna put two together and that way it's gonna sit in between the two pieces of pallet wood that I have here and the bracket. It's gonna slide in between there. One of them's going to be fixed, and then one of them's going to move back and forth. This one's going to want to, this is going to be the one that moves back and forth. This is going to be fixed. Goats getting out of there. And then this one 
I'm going to use a kind of a bolt. I'm just going to go. I'm going to put it like this. Like a saw. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut up some pallet pieces here and I got them so they could fit down in there. Now it's not perfect, there's some gaps in between here, but that's okay as long as the gaps aren't big enough for a goat hoof to slip through. I think we'll be okay. Now I'm going to come through here with the circular saw and I'm going to just even up the sides so it looks semi-presentable. <laughs> with the angle on that. Yeah, maybe we ought to redo that. This angle's a little better here, this side. Uh, you know what, guys? I really don't give a damn. I'll pretend that was on purpose. So here it is. I did not have a bolt over here long enough to be able to go through and get to the other side there. So I just put a screw in. It seems to be working okay. I don't know how long it's going to be up there long term. You know, none of this is nice looking, none of it's perfect. It's a doggone goat milking stand. And I did it with scraps and what I had around the shop. I didn't purchase anything. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Might be in the weather, and if that's the case, I'm going to have to stain it or put some type of protectant on it so we don't have issues with it rotting right away. Uh, and I'm going to need to put something up here to where I can clip it and chain it so that way the goats don't rustle out of this thing and move it. So. All right, so I pretty much finished it up here, guys. I'll just show you what I did. I put the tray in down here so I can put some type of a food dish or something there or just lay something right across the tray. I put in, I found some chain that I had that I was using, but I wasn't using all of it. So I clipped off um, a link, put it in this eye hook and ran it across to a screw. So now you can adjust this yoke to different sizes, and then secure the goats in back of the saw. So there it is, guys. One step closer to getting goats, and that's the goal. Again, I may wait until spring to do that, but i got to have the infrastructure in place now or beforehand, before I get the goats. And I've been looking on Craigslist, and if I have the infrastructure in place, if something good comes along, a good deal, so on and so forth, I'll be able to jump on it. So... That's what we're going to do. We're going to get this thing rocking and rolling, and next up is going to be the goat running. So stick around and check out that video in a future clip. Oh, I leave, darkness, she